Johnson & Johnson stock tanking this week after new court documents claimed the company knew for years its baby powder was tainted with asbestos. The company lost its motion yesterday to overturn a $4.7 billion verdict. But it's not just the money a local family is after in their own lawsuit. They told Caitlin Ross they lost a mother and a wife because of that baby powder. I want to make sure that you understand what your to-dos are for today. Number one get all of this wretched cancer, this mesothelioma, out of my body. It is not welcome. Number two, don't let me die. Just hours before his wife Tara went in for surgery, Rich D'Augustinus wasn't surprised to find her writing a letter of encouragement to her surgeons. She was a very strong woman, a strong woman of faith and loved fiercely. And she fought fiercely against a vicious disease. It took just 15 months for the mesothelioma to kill her. I don't want to see other people going through that agony. Mesothelioma is a cancer caused by asbestos exposure. Our belief is that she was exposed in the home as a child. Their family is suing Johnson & Johnson, alleging it knew the powder was tainted and did nothing to stop it. It was very simple for me. Um, my wife had her life taken away from her. But in a strong rebuttal, Johnson & Johnson says there is no link between its baby powder and cancer. The company says it never hid anything, and its products always have been and always will be safe. Rich says Tara's death proves differently. I'm trying to give voice to this cause. My wife can't because her breath was taken away. While he fights to avenge his wife's death in court, he remembers her life in her spirit and her words and her letter. I'm a fighter and have always been a can-do person. Attitude is everything, and I want you to have that same attitude as you complete my surgery today. I trust you and will see you once I wake up. She did survive that surgery and went on to fight for months before the cancer took her. He says he wants to sue Johnson & Johnson to hold the people he thinks are responsible for his wife's death accountable. And this is such a heartbreaking story and so many families are going through a similar situation as well. And Johnson & Johnson is not the only company facing these allegations. What's the government actually doing about this? Well, that's a great question because Rich is involved in a lot of advocacy right now. He says he really wants to stand up for the people who are suffering. And part of that is creating a national registry of people who have mesothelioma so they can get more of that scientific data and hopefully get better outcomes for those patients. All right. Just heartbreaking as a child. I was using you know, exactly. some of that baby powder. Yeah. You know, a lot of us grew up using that, and to hear these stories just breaks your heart, and you worry for yourself as well. Absolutely. Yeah.